If you want to learn how to mine Metaverse ETP using Simple Mining OS or SMOS and you don't really know where to start, you've landed on the right channel. We're going to go step by step and we're starting right now. Welcome to the Savage Mind YouTube channel. I'm Charles, and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about building and maintaining a GPU cryptocurrency mining rig and other crypto related stuff, please be sure to like and share and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Like I said at the top, today we're going to cover how to mine Metaverse ETP using Simple Mining OS. If you don't know what Metaverse is, you should head over to Crypto Cruising's YouTube channel. Crypto Cruising does these really cool videos. Right now he's doing like a series on the top 100 coins or tokens and what they're all about. And his most recent, one of his most recent videos is about Metaverse. So head over to Crypto Cruising's YouTube channel to check that out. I'll leave a card up here for the link to his YouTube channel. And I'll also leave that in the description as well. At some point, Metaverse may go to proof of stake according to their uh, white paper and their roadmap. So uh, what I'm getting at is the clock is ticking, so let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is get a wallet. You can do it fairly easily, usually with a mineable coin by just going to coin market cap and typing in the coin that you're trying to mine, which is in this case is ETP or Metaverse. And then you can see right here that they're up pretty good today. Uh, not really important for this particular video because we're talking about mining. But if you look over here on the left, you can see that uh, there's a website link. So you click that, that takes you to the Metaverse website. So the goal here is to get a wallet, okay? So we, because we need an address to mine to. So we're gonna click wallet. And in this case, we're gonna choose official web wallet because we don't, we don't really wanna download the entire blockchain on our computer. So I'm going to click official web wallet and then it's called a light wallet. So I'm going to visit light wallet, which ends up being myetpwallet.com. So that takes you here. You're going to click enter wallet. We're going to create a new wallet. And this is, this is uh, super important. So, you, you want to back these words up. This is, these are your seed words for recovering your wallet. Okay, this, this is like how you would get your wallet back. Because remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The power is that you're your own bank in the crypto world. So this wallet has your money in it and it, that is your bank. So this is super important. Do not lose these words if you're going to use this wallet to store, you know, large amounts of crypto. If you're just mining to it, you know, you transfer the funds out of it every day or every week or something like that, then, you know, it, it becomes less important. But if you're going to be mining to this for a long time, then you really want to back these words up and you want, well, you really want to write them down on a piece of paper and store them, and store them somewhere safe. So um, for this example, I'm not really going to worry about it too much because I'm just doing this for the video. So we're going to click next. It wants to warn you that, you know, hey, have you confirmed or have you written the words down? You're going to say yes. Now it's going to ask for a password. This is creating a password to the file itself. So create a complex password. Typically you want it, want it to be pretty complex to be safe. And this is also how the wallet is being encrypted. I'm going to click next and you're going to see right here at least on, on my browser if you're using chrome um, it downloads a file and the file is mvs underscore keystore.json json so this is a java file so if you go to where it's at it's typically going to be in downloads i believe yeah so this is your actual file this is your actual wallet so um that was what happened after you clicked create now we're going to open the wallet. And you have to agree to this, the disclaimer, and then you choose, then you have to click choose a file. And then you're gonna to go to where MVS underscore key store JSON file was downloaded to, which was downloads. So we're gonna click on it and click open, or you can double click on it. And now it's going to ask for the password. So you have to put the password back in there that you created for this particular file to unencrypt it. 
Then you're gonna click import wallet. Now it's gonna open up. This is the most important part for this particular uh, tutorial here. Uh, you have other metaverse smart tokens, but the one we're gonna focus on is going to be the ETP token itself. So what we need to do is, we'll do this in a few minutes, but we, we have to generate a receive address in order to mine to. But for now, we're gonna wait. We're gonna now, the next step is to determine what pool we're gonna use to mine to. Uh, we're not gonna solo mine, we're gonna actually join a pool using Simple Mining OS to actually go out there and participate in a pool and mine ETP with other miners. The one pool that I found that seemed to be the most popular for ETP was Sandpool. So what we need to do is we need to go to etp.sandpool.org. We're going to look for what we need to type into our mi miner options in Simple Mining OS to participate in this pool. So if we go to help, we see right here where Stratum, we're looking for Stratum mining for NVIDIA using Claymore because this is an FHash algorithm. So we're going to use the Claymore miner to mine it. So if you go right here, this other stuff doesn't really matter too much because we're using SMOS. So the most important part is going to be right here. This is the string that you need in order to set up Simple Mining OS properly in order to mine this particular coin. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna highlight from ePool all the way to the end, and we're gonna right click and choose copy. That's gonna just put it on the clipboard in memory so that we can use it whenever we set up our rig group in Simple Mining. So the next thing you're gonna do is go to your Simple Mining console uh, dashboard and then go to rig groups, add a group. We're gonna use the Claymore FHash or Dagger Hashimoto um, miner. We're gonna choose version 11.9, the latest version. We're gonna click select. For group name, I usually use uh, the coin, the miner I'm using, and then the pool. So in this case, it's gonna be ETP underscore Claymore 119 for 11.9 .9. you can't put point uh, periods in there or dots in there because uh, it'll erase them uh, underscore sand pool so that lets me know this particular group is mining etp using the claymore miner and the sand pool pool uh, group description you can put something in there if you want not required then at the bottom we're going to highlight the entire string and remember we have paste we have copied the correct string from sand pool and so we're going to right click and paste. Now it's important to note that this wallet address is not your wallet address. Remember, we need to change this to the receiving wallet address from the ETP website, the ETP My Wallet, what was it? This thing here, myetpwallet.com. So you go back here and you click receive and then it's gonna auto-generate like 10 addresses for you. We'll just use the top one. You can look right here, G-U-H, G-U-H, that's the top one. So we're gonna click copy here. Now that has copied to your clipboard, your memory, right? And then we're gonna go back to Simple Mining and we're gonna paste it right here where the other wallet was. Make sure you get your spaces right here. <clears throat> where the other wallet address was might be too many spaces in here. I don't know if it matters too much. Okay, so we'll take that off of there. Then uh, kind of look over it, verify it real quick. Looks good to me. So then we're gonna click add group. So now we have a group in here called ETP Claymore Sample. So now we can assign our miner, our, our rig, to that group. So if we go to rig list, And then we're gonna choose, um, in this case, the, the rigs all, are offline so I can record the video. But if I wanted to assign this one, I would highlight or uh, put a checkbox next to it and then assign group, click the down arrow. We're gonna go with ETP 
and then we're going to click reboot and then save and then that's going to generate a reboot on that rig it's not going to work right now because it's off but i'll uh, i'll turn the rig on here in a minute do the console so you can see it actually receiving or uh, working and mining booting into simple mining os Looking pretty good so far. It's already connected to sample.org. It's already hashing. I should be getting about 340, 340 mega hash per second with this rig. So that's kind of the target that we're looking for there. Okay, so there's 340. Looks like it's stabled out around 340. So that's good. So when you come back to your Simple Mining OS dashboard here, uh, you'll notice, you know, this rig is now on. Uh, it's hashing away at uh, 340 mega hash per second and if you go to your um, I mean you can see right here which group it's on ETP Claymore sample so if you go to your rig groups ETP Claymore sample right here so what you can do you probably already have this uh, copied but copy your wallet address here and then go back to the pool go back to the pool wherever it's at here where's the pool here we go go back to the pool and from the home page here you can just type in or paste in your ethereum address and then go look up and you can watch your you can watch your worker um you know basically you can see when the last share was submitted you can see if it's working okay so this is kind of going to tell you like okay i am definitely hashing to this pool so um so that's a good thing and um this will eventually it takes a while but eventually it'll get up to 340 um and then you'll be good to go so after i believe it's for this pool um i don't, I don't remember the actual payouts or anything like that i know that it did take a while the first time i ever did this um i want to say that it took a whole day to start getting paid so but you know you can pretty much be confident that if you're seeing this down here and you're seeing it change like this and you're seeing the last share submitted like this over here then you're good to go you don't have anything to worry about so that's all there is to it now you're up in mining metaverse if you found this video helpful please be sure to like share and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future and uh thanks a lot for watching and i'll see y'all next time